Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic database management system. So let's see the requirements of this code. We require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, we require code blocks or VS code or any other text editor for a better experience. Third, we require Windows 10 operating system or any other latest version. So now let's move to the code and let's see what the code has for us. So here, this is a database management system. You can see all the header files has been included at the starting. Then we have the using namespace std. Then we have a structure named id, where we have the name of the student, number, and the grade point. Depending, like the name of the student is string, the number is string, and the grade point is end. Then there is a struct node, where the data is of the form id, and there will be a next pointer and a back pointer. Then in case of student database, we have a private access specifier where we have the node pointer first, last and new node. Then we have a type which is determined by two data types that is long and int. Then there is an int counter, int flag and under public access specifier, we have student database constructor where we are initializing the first, last to two null and we are incrementing the counter or we are initializing the counter to one which will be incremented in the further section. Then we have a construct function where there are some parameters or which have been taken like uh, long int i, string n, string n, and long double y. If the first will be double equal to null, it's a comparison operator. So we are going to perform certain functionalities like we are going to initialize the type to i, the new node will be initialized to new node, and the new node will be pointing towards data dot name of student data dot number and data dot grade point. If you have already created the node using the previous option, it shows you have already used the create option previous. Then in case of an insert element, here what you can do is you can insert a particular grade point or a particular student into the database, a new student basically. Then here we are going to check if first is not equal to null, we are going to take a parameter as type. In case what? We have first that is data dot name of the student of the array zero that is the zeroth element or the zero index element of the name of student array. Then what we are going to do is we are going to see the first back first pointing towards back will be initialized to new node. New node pointing towards next will be initialized to first and new node pointing towards back will be initialized to null and the counter will be increased by one. Or else if the last part will be pointing towards this the data dot name of the student of zero. So what we are going to do, we are going to just invert this. So last pointing towards next will be going to new node. New node pointing towards next will be going to null. And new node pointing towards back will be going towards last. Again, we are going to increment the count. In the else part, we have node, the pointer current, which will be initialized to first. And the current next will be initialized to current pointing towards next. This is basically all the references we are playing with. Then what we are going to do is, we are going to break this loop. If this thing is not satisfied, the else part will be not satisfied, we are going to break the loop. Then let's go to case 2. Here, the, here we were playing with the name part. Here we will be playing with the number part. So basically a student has name, number and GPA. So basically the same thing we are going to repeat it here. The first block will be first pointing towards the data dot number. And here you can see there is a condition which will be greater than or equal to x. Here again the last will be pointing towards the data number and here it is less than or equal to x. The same thing which you are going which we have written here, the same thing you have written here. Only the name will be changed to number. Or else you are going to update the current, the current point. Here you are requested to use a create option first. You have if you have not Use the create option, then you need to create a particular database for a student. Then let's see what has the delete element. That means we are going to delete a node. Insertion of the node is done. Now we will be deleting the node. So here what we are going to do? We are going to do the same thing, but the counter, the variable which we had, that is going to be decremented here. Same thing we are going. So node delete first equal to first, delete last equal to last, and delete next equal to delete first pointing towards next. And delete back will be last pointing towards that. 
we are first we will be pointing to as data dot number if it is x like the node which you want to delete if you got it then delete it the last one you got if the last node if the last node has no data and that you want to delete then delete it and you point towards none and see the counter will be always decremented here again we are going to run a loop to delete the first then delete the first node the back node and the next node if the flag which you entered like the id you will be entering now to see whether the which number you have entered is correct or incorrect so if the entered id is incorrect it says sorry the entered id is incorrect or else it says for the database is empty we did not get the id which you are searching for the print part here it will print the student name student id and the net grade point in the save file function what we will do here we will be using the file handling procedure if the file will be failed to open, it says sorry the file could not be opened. Save dot text because if this file does not exist, it can't open, right? Then if the database will be empty, it says sorry the database is empty. And if the changes has been done successfully, it says the changes has been done successfully. Then in case of the search element here, we are going to search for a particular node. If the database is empty, it says sorry the database is empty. And if the entered ID is incorrect. It says sorry, the entered ID is incorrect. This is the help. Here the instructions are there. It says this function focuses on the database system in college. There are certain functions which have various functionalities, as I have already explained to you. Create function. This is the create function. In this function, you need to create a database. If you want to insert certain data, then use the insert function. Insert, delete, and search functions are available. In this function, you can insert, delete, or search data. These functions can only be used after the create function. Then there will be a save function, and all the inputted information must be saved for future use in save.txt because we are using the file and link process area. And it says, oh, thanks for reading. We hope you found the information useful. Then this is the main function. You all know that in case of a CPV program or any kind of program, the always the execution starts from main and it ends in main as well. So what we are going to do here, first we are going to call the show function, then we are going to create an object, a student database object, then certain data types has been initialized. Then it asks us to enter our choice. It will ask us to enter the student's name, ID and GPA. So we are going to get the name of the student, its ID and GP. So what we are going to get? If the name of the student would be less than 65 or the name of the student will be greater than 122, it says sorry, wrong input. So you need to uh, get the name of the student. Okay. So you need to get the name of the student, which will be 0, means the name of the student, the first Index of the name of the student should be less than 65 and the name of the student 0 should be greater than 122. So either this will be correct or this will be correct. Here you are going to get the grade point and here you are going to get the GP. How many number of students you want to enter into the database? Enter the ID GPA of the student. If you are entering something wrong, it says you are entering wrong. This is the same thing going on. You're going to call each and every function. This is a check num function. If the this is you're going to check whether whatever you have inputted is correct or wrong. This is the login function. So here you it asks you if you want to log in into the system, what is your passcode and stuff. So we'll see it when we'll run it. We'll see it. So let me just show you this. Give me one second. Yeah. This is your executable file. Ah, it's done. So now let's run it. Requiring one more terminal. I have to require one more terminal for this. Let me run it. I'm going to run it again. Let's see.
executable and there is something half we got it. So let's see. We'll enter pass. So see, we have all the functionalities here. Create database, insert data, delete data, search for data, print data, save data, and let's pass C7. So the help, whatever we read it, this all has been see clearly visible here. So yes, I want to perform another option. So I enter my yes again. Now what I'll do, I'll be inserting a data. So two students name, uh, let's say the name will be Nike, ID will be 3.57 and GPA itself. Okay. So it's not like I entered something in code because I don't have a space right here. So, so you got the functionalities of the code, right? Let me run it again and show it to you. So this is a long program, so you need to be very careful while entering. So here, you have you can perform all this data. If I want to print something, I can print. See, the, it will be printed like student name, student ID, and net grade point. So under it will be printed. If I press yes again, it will again ask me for the passcode. I enter the passcode. Then if I want to search for a data, if I want to save the data again, the I, I need to create a database and I need to enter the data. If I do it, then my database will be saved as well. So all the functions are working fine. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.